sleep at last welcome to another one of my videos please remember to hit subscribe if you would like to be notified of when i do new videos the link to my free nap guide and my social media channels channels are all in the description below so be sure to check those out so this video is talking about dummies now i find that parents usually have quite strong feelings about dummies they either love them or they hate them or sometimes people are confused about whether or not they should use them they're scared to use them like when their baby is first born in case it becomes an association or it's you know is it bad for their teeth etc etc so i just want to um yeah talk to you about what my opinion is really as a as a sleep consultant i think dummies are great for newborns newborns are born with a strong sucking reflex and dummies can really help soothe them it really helps refluxy babies as well as my daughter had reflux and the dummy was a lifesaver for her and it can help you to kind of break that kind of um, feed to sleep association as well that newborns do I mean they're going to fall asleep on the boob anyway but once they finish the feed at least if you can pop a dummy in it means you can pop them down so that you can go back to sleep um, so I think they're great for newborns absolutely yeah highly recommend them because newborns cannot self-settle until they're 16 weeks they're going to need some kind of assistance dummy is a great way to do that I wouldn't introduce a dummy once baby is from turn 16 weeks plus if your baby is older than 16 weeks and you're finding that sleep is becoming quite difficult if your baby is waking frequently and you are having to replace the dummy more frequently than you were before um if they're needing it every sort of at the end of every nap cycles so like 30 40 minutes every couple of hours during the night and you're exhausted which you would be if you're getting up that frequently then I, that's when i would suggest it's probably a time to get rid of it if you're not that fast and some people aren't about replacing the dummy because it puts them back to sleep really quickly so you're okay for them to wake up because they you know that when you give them the dummy they'll go back to sleep within five minutes and you can go back to sleep that's fine but if it's not working for you and you would like to get rid of it um, this is usually around about a good age to do it so that you um, avoid more issues later down the line if you do want to hold on to it and hang on in there babies can kind of start um, replacing the dummy themselves around about seven or eight months when they've got the hand-eye coordination obviously this can be further complicated with dummies falling out of the cot and you then having to go and give it to them but you can put lots of dummies in there um, so that they always can find one so it is personal preference obviously you will have to get rid of it at some point and it can be much easier to get rid of it at an earlier age than waiting until they're a toddler there is also the um, complication of it you know it can cause issues with teeth as well um, and so uh, my recommendation is to use it for the first sort of 12 to 16 weeks and ditch it after that pretty much um, in terms of getting rid of it you can just go cold turkey and just stop using it what I would recommend though is that you have a plan for how you're going to do it so if you just stop giving it to them, they will protest. They are going to cry because they want the dummy. They're wondering where the dummy's gone and how am I going to go back to sleep without this thing that you've always given me. So you need to have a backup plan of either assisting yourself um, temporarily. So like holding or rocking to get them to sleep and then wean, yourself, wean them off that assistance. Um, or using something like timed intervals where you allow them to cry for a short period of time before you go in and reassure them and then put them back down so basically a form of sleep training um method ultimately is a good way a good plan of action to help you ditch that association and then teach them to settle themselves because Prior to this time, if they have been using a dummy, they don't know how to sleep independently because they've been relying on the dummy. So they need to be taught that skill. And so you having another method to do that as a backup for a week or two will help them to no longer need the dummy and to be able to put themselves to sleep. If you've got a toddler who, who has the dummy at the moment and you're wanting to get rid of it, you can cut a hole in it. Obviously, be careful that all the pieces are, are gone and it's not a choking hazard. You can cut a small hole in it um, for a few days and then cut a bigger hole and eventually obviously they'll they'll think that well, this isn't really doing anything for me anymore and they'll ditch it themselves or you can get them involved get them on board write a letter to the dummy fairy explain that the dummy fairy will come tonight to take their dummies 
and give them to the babies because they are a big boy or big girl now and they no longer need their dummies anymore and you can get them to put them in a box and then obviously you can throw them away and make sure you do throw them away otherwise you don't want your toddler finding them later down the line and then you know wondering why the dummy fairy has brought them back so um so yeah it is possible to ditch dummies with you know with toddlers but again it can be a bit harder if they've never been taught how to sleep independently and if you're having sleep issues with them anyway again having a plan of action with a settling method of teaching them to sleep independently will help to remove that dummy and ease that kind of association but yes i certainly don't think that dummies are bad i i certainly don't judge parents for using dummies and i don't think for a second that um you're a bad parent just because you choose to use a dummy and there's anything wrong with it. It is just one of those things that is a natural instinct from us from birth and one of those things that you don't even realise a few months down the line you're still using it. Um, and it can be a helpful tool, like I say, especially if you've got a refluxy baby. It does have its um, uses, but ultimately I do think it needs to go from 16 weeks. I hope you found that useful guys please hit like if you did pop your questions in the comments section if you've got any and i can answer them for you and um be sure to get in touch if you want some help with this if you want some support to remove the dummies what i help their clients with all the time um happy to have a chat with you the link to book a free call is in the description and thank you for listening